Hello, hi, I'm Cryptic Hybrid, and this is MASH the Adventure Game. Now, MASH the Adventure Game is a point and click adventure game that's set in the world of the MASH TV series that originally ran between 1972 and 1983. This is a fan made game, it looks really lovely, and it's free, and we're gonna check it out together. New game. In 1950, on June 25th, some 75,000 soldiers from the North Korean People's Army poured across the 38th parallel, which was the boundary between the Soviet-backed Democratic People's Republic of Korea and the pro-Western Republic of Korea. By July, American troops entered the war on South Korea's behalf. Peace talks in Panmunjom are stalling. No end seems in sight. In the midst of the conflict, there is also a troop of surgeons and nurses that patch up the wounded in what they call meatball surgery. They operate in Mobile Army Surgical Hospitals, or MASH for short. They may not be on the front, but they are close enough to see a considerable amount of bloodshed. These are not soldiers or regular army as they say, they are draftees caught up in this little shindig. This little shindig being, you know, the Korean War, so yeah. So it's quite understandable, they go a bit crazy at times trying to keep their sanity intact. Our story takes place at the 4 row double seventh, the best MASH unit far and wide. It has an astonishingly low casualty record. We are now sometime in 1952. The likes of Captain Benjamin Franklin Pierce, Captain B.J. Honeycutt and Commanding Officer Co Colonel Sherman T. Potter are the best cutters in OR operating room. There's also Major Frank Burns, a less skilled surgeon and somewhat of a, let's say, pain in the rear. Working with the doctors is also a staff of nurses with the head nurse, Margaret Houlihan. Margaret has a habit of falling for anyone with enough brass. She earned her nickname Hot Lips. She doesn't like it. One of the 4077's members is also the company clerk, Walter O'Reilly. A young and innocent lad dedicated to his work. His friends affectionately call him Radar. Why Radar? Well, he can predict things before they happen. That can come in mighty handy when he predicts another batch of wounded coming their way. And speaking of... Choppers! Choppers! Leaping cells source. This is some session, and this kid looks like he can't be older than 15. Where do they get these kids? Don't give me a clamp, give me a 4 thread. You asked for a clamp, doctor. Well, give me what I want, not what I asked for. You're really asking for it, Frank. Shut up, Pierce. Colonel, this OR is really below any military standard. And you, Brooks, are going on report. Simmer down, people. Frank's skills have been simmered down even before they were lukewarm. That's right, BJ, but God knows things get hot when Hot Lips walks around the corner. Colonel! Enough! These sessions are hard enough without you people driving me bananas. Radar often helps during these sessions in addition to his regular clerk duties. After an 8 hour stint in OR, he's ready to get some rest. Boy, that was some session. I think I'll try and rest a while before the next batch of wounded arrives. Hey, where's... where's my bear? Oh no, this is terrible. Who would... Wait, the orphans? They came over last night before the session to get their regular checkups. One of them must have swiped it. I've got to get, uh, get to them before they leave. I've got to find my teddy bear. Yeah, he has a teddy bear. He's like, maybe 19. There's a truck with the orphans. But where's the teddy bear? None of the orphans had him, I'll have to look around the camp. Radar looked around the entire camp but couldn't find a bear. Then he decided to look on the outskirts of the camp. Oh no! How did that happen? One of the orphans must have taken him and chucked him into the minefield. How am I going to get him out? 
I should find Hawkeye. He'll help me. He's probably at the swamp. Hmm, Hawk's not here. I should go look for him. And this is where our adventure begins. Let me just really quick. I'm going to uh, alt tab it a little bit and increase the volume of the audio because the music is really nice. It's just super. It's a lot louder in the menu than it is in game. All right, we got a little bit of a background music and okay. Let's look around the swamp first. BJ's bed, not as tidy as Major Burns's, but still tidy. Huh, it's a deck of cards. It looks incomplete though. Well, okay, what do we have? Dog tags. My dog tags. They show my name, blood type, service number, tetanus, toxoid shot, year, and religion. So, I guess, well, everyone would have dog tags on them, right? Let's pick up the cards. Alright, we got a deck of cards. What else we got? It's an old busted footlocker. Hawk and BJ keep stuff for the still in there. Yeah, because they make their own alcohol. It's BJ's and Hawkeye's still. I don't like drinking from it. Come on. Uh, use it. Come on, Radar. Just, you know, you need a drink. Ick, no. That stuff would peel the paint off of my stomach. Anyway, I don't know how to use it. Wait, peel the... How? He doesn't... What? Paint? Stomach? Anyway. Radar's a little weird. It's a regular chessboard. But BJ and Hawk usually play Cranko or Triple Cranko. No, oh, it's an old airline seat. I finagled this for Hawk and Trapper a long time ago. Uh, a long time ago. <sighs> Memories. Mail from home, pictures and letters. This reminds me, I should write my mom. The last part of my jeep should have arrived by now. A bit from the first season. Yeah, so in, if I recall, in the first season of MASH, Radar was sending a whole jeep back home, just parts, like a steering wheel first, and then, you know, like a gasket or, you know, like a mirror and, and so on. And uh, I guess eventually he got to build it at home. It's Hawk's purple bathrobe. He says it's his royal gown. Oh, wait, maybe... Maybe we can take that. Uh, let's pick up. It's too big for me. Okay. It's Hawkscott. A mess as always. <laughs> it's a shelf made of crates and it's full of clutter. A blue porcelain cup, Hawks nudie magazines, books, a radio, etc. Nothing I need. A general army issued tent stove. Cooking is not allowed. It's only meant for providing warmth. This one is full of uh, wood since it's not that cold outside and it hasn't been lit in a while. Yeah, it's a signed photo of General MacArthur. Looks kind of fake actually. Oh, and this is a picture of Major Burns' mother. It's signed, Dear Frank, Dad was not your father. Love, Mom. A joke by Hawkeye, no doubt. Yeah, I'm sure. It's Major Burns' bed. Unmessy according to army regulations. Yeah, Major Burns is a uh, very stickler for rules. Some rules. It's Major Burns' footlocker. Okay, open. Mm, it's locked. The Major usually keeps a key hidden somewhere. But BJ and Hawk have been looking for it for weeks. He must have found a new and better hiding place. We'll probably have to, have, have to find that key then. It's a foldable table. Pretty nifty. Wait, did I try to open this locker? No, I didn't, right? I just looked at it. Nah, Hawk got pretty peeved when Major Burns messed with it once. Okay. Alright, let's go outside. Let's look for... we need to find the uh, Hawkeye. It's a chair made of all, of all crates. Nothing special about it. Okay, so... We can go path to chopper pad, path to supply, uh, signpost, okay, post up and offices and showers. Okay, let's look around. This leads to the chopper pad. Okay. 
I don't want to go to the chopper pad. There are no any. There are no choppers anywhere. Anyway, this is a play. Just a placeholder for possible future episodes. All right, that's kind of funny. All right, let's see what we got here. Mess tent. Let's see. Hey, there's a surgical clamp in here. It's bent a bit. It still works. It's just not as accurate. It's probably useless to the surgeons. I'll just take it. Alright, a clamp. We keep our supplies in there. I think I saw Major Hulahan go in after the OR session. Yeah, it's a bunch of crates left over from a supply shipment. And string. Definitely picking that up, right? It's a string. One of the boxes must have been tied with it. Okay, pick it up. Come on, radar. This string could come in handy. Alright, we got some string. For the Mokehi minefield. Okay, so this is where the um, the bear is. It's a warning sign for the minefield. A big skull. No words. Message received. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll come to get you. We just have to find a way to go to the to the minefield. Hello, father. Hello, radar. What are you up to, father? I came from post OP. Uh, o OP? Oh, operation. And I caught my nail on the door handle. Hurts like the dickus, dickens. I'm trying to file it down a bit. Oh, sorry to hear that, father. Hey, could you lend me that file? I would, but I did it myself. So, are the patients going to be okay? Thank god there were no casualties this time. They'll be alright, radar. Hey, you seen any good boxing matches lately? No, unless you count me in my old punching bag. But I just ruined my only pair of gloves. One of them tore. Oh, maybe I can get it fixed for you. Bless you, my son. Hey, have you seen Hawkeye around? I'm sorry, not since OR. Alright, see you, father. God be with you, Radar. And we got a broken glove. Father Mokehi, is ga Father Mokehi gave me this glove to get it fixed. Can I... Well, I don't have any needle. Maybe I can just use the string on it? No. Okay. Let's go... Let's go to the mess tent. Is the pad at least to the mess tent? Okay, let's, let's actually go there. Mm, burns. Hello, Major. Make it snappy. I'm busy, soldier. Uh, what are you up to? None of your business, soldier. Jesus. Will the patients be okay? Of course they will. I operated on them, didn't I? I guess so. Are you saying I'm not a good surgeon? No, no, sir. Are you aware I can bust you for insulting a superior officer? Yes, sir. Well, then watch it. Now buzz off. Jesus. Jesus. Hey, have you seen Captain Pierce anywhere? Not since OR, thank goodness. That degenerate, you know, he stole my underwear not long ago. I still haven't found it. Uh, sorry to hear that, sir. He and Honeycutt always temper with my things. Why not lock your things in your footlocker? Uh, don't you think I've tried that? But I always seem to find the key. But not this time. I hid it where no one can find it. This hiding spot is rock solid. Hmm. Rock solid, huh? That sounds like a clue. Hey, do you know where Major Hulahan is? We're not meeting up. Uh, I mean, no, I don't. Now leave me alone. Jeez, he's very jumpy. He is very jumpy. Ooh, playing card. It's a playing card. Weird. Why is it here? I don't know, but pick it up, man. Because you have an up, uh, incomplete uh, deck. 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 Jesus. It's stuck under the crate. I have to be careful not to tear it. Ace of diamonds. Alright, let's use this with the card. With the pack. Nice. I have the card to the deck. A huge crate. We pack the tents in these when we bug out. Stone. Oh! It's a stone. We use them to make the place at least look like it's organized. Wait, did he hide the key here? Let's see. Stone. 
Não. Não. I'm just checking every stone in case he burns. Although he wouldn't hide it here. Okay, wait, let's go back to the to the swamp. Right? Because he wouldn't he wouldn't just hide it at the mess hole, he would have it around here. One of these stones. Just a stone, nothing special about it. Just a stone. Stone, just a stone. Just a stone. This one? But this one's inside. Huh, this must be the stone, sol uh, the stone solid hiding spot Major Burns was talking about. Okay, man, pick it up. Let's get the key. Is this... Okay, oh, we got it. There's a key under it. Nice, Frank's key. So that's from the footlocker. Alright. Let's go. Let's uh, see what he has. Use. And then we're gonna try to find Hawkeye eventually. Why did he go around? Anyway. There we go. Now, let's have a look inside. Okay. Look. Look, man. Let's see. Books, magazines, shirts, new socks. New socks? Wow. No, that's rare. I think I'll keep them for... Uh, I'll keep them safe for the Major. Hey, there's a letter under the socks. I can't believe I got socks out of it. A new fresh pair of socks. Worth their weight in gold around here. And a letter from Major Burns to his wife. Oh yeah, he's also married. Let's see. So don't worry, uh, don't worry, Louise. Don't mind what our neighbor's sister's cousin told you. Major Hulahan is an old army warhorse. He's just a friend. Oh, he! So please calm down and make sure I I'm still in your father's will. So, so Frank's wife is... I guess... She's suspecting that uh, he's involved with Major Hulahan, Hulahan and uh, Frank's lying to her, because Hulahan is, you know, a woman, not not the he. All right. Okay, let's go back. Well, I'm not gonna give the key, but let's let's uh, let's check out. Let's go around the camp first, and and then you know go in another. Uh, other places. A crate. We pack the tents in these crates when we move. It's empty now. Hmm. Huh, it's a garden of flowers. For the okay, he has a bit of a green thumb. I'd better not. It's a holy place. Or something. Well, no, it's just... It's just for the okay, it's tent. It's not holy. Major Hulahan's tent, although it's uh, kind of a joint thing with Major Burns' is really... Ooh. It's locked. Oh, and it has a... Yeah, see? It has a lock. Major Hulahan keeps her tent locked. Figures. Alright. So I'm gonna have to find the key for that. The nurse's tent. I better knock first. Come in! Nurse Turner and Nurse Brooks. Um, hello ladies. Hi Radar. What's up? Uh, what are you up to? We just came from the OR session. Yeah, that was some shift. Planning on taking a break? Well, we're still kind of hyped from the rush. We're kind of bored to be honest. If only we had something to pass the time. Hey, hey have you guys seen Hawkeye anywhere? He bolted straight to the showers after the OR session. Oh, so he's taking a shower. If only, he's prowling around for a nurse. Yeah, we'll take a shower later. Huh, yeah. Um, so, there's a movie playing at the mess tent tonight. Yeah? What's playing? It's a double feature. Bride of the Go uh, Gorilla and Bedtime for, Gon for Bonzo, sorry. Pass on the monkey business. <laughs> Uh, let's see... What? Wait, wait, what was this? You guys, fa you guys, gals fancy cutting the rug at Rosie's tonight. Is that like an invitation for her to get drunk? Mm, skip it. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, let me give them... The deck of cards, come on. 
Would you like this deck of cards? We would, but it's incomplete. Right. Okay. Bunk beds. Neat. If I'd have a little brother, I'd let him have the top bunk. <laughs> it's an assortment of personal pictures. It's a regular wind-up alarm clock. A mess of papers, probably unfinished letters. Romance novels and medical journals. Sewing kit, huh? It's a sewing kit, regular army issue. It's full of needles, thread and buttons. Oh, I could use that on the glove, right? Huh. Can I pick it up? That wouldn't really be gentlemanlike. I should ask first. Um, hello ladies. Hi Radar, what's up? So, about that sewing kit on the table? What about it? Can I have it? Radar, you of all people should know nothing is free in this camp. So, what do you want to trade? We need something to pass the time, like a game or something. A game? Yeah, something for the boring days. I have this deck of cards. Let's see it. Yeah, it's incomplete. We can't use this, sorry. Okay, okay. So, th so they will take the, the deck. It's just... I just have to find the rest of the cards. A photo of a man. Probably a husband. Oh, and a bear, look! Hey, how did you get... Oh, wait. That's not my teddy bear. A variety, a variety of books. Novels, medical journals, etc. One of them is about making plaster molds. First you need a container. Then you mix in the plaster mix with some water. Then you need some kind of lubricant or silicon to coat the item you want the mold of. Place the item into the plaster mix and let it harden. In the end, simply remove the item. Neat. There's also some stuff here about making a split mold, but that seems too complicated for me. Okay, that was very specific, right? A suitcase. Nothing special. I'm guessing we'll have to make a mold of something. Makeup. An array of makeup. Can I pick anything up or... Right? I can't just take it. Besides, I don't need it. Okay, so I definitely need a sewing kit, right? And they want cards. Fair enough. Hey, Hawkeye! Nice. Hi. Hi. State your business in one word or less. Oh. Uh, well... My bear is in the middle of the minefield. What? One of the orphans must have put it there. Calm down, Radar. Uh, he's not going anywhere. And if someone tries to swipe him, we'll know. Well, he'll let us know with a bang. I guess you're right. Isn't there a map of the minefield in your office? Hey, that's right. I'll be right here if you need anything else. Just come to me in one piece. I've had enough meatball surgery for one more. Thanks, Hawk. So, what are you up to? Oh, about 6'2". Oh, come on, you know what I mean. Well, first I thought of sinking myself to the bottom of a martini. Yeah. But then I thought, why not convince one of the nurses to turn into an olive and join me? And there's no better place to scare up a nurse than at the showers. That reminds me, can you finagle something to better convince my olive to join me? A small trinket or something? Um, you've got it, I'll try. So, have you pulled any good pranks on Burns lately? Oh, we were in OR for almost 8 hours, Radar. But we did hoist uh, hoisted up his undies up the flagpole before the, sh before the session. Gee, up the flagpole? Won't that make him mad? Don't worry, we used a clean pair. <laughs> uh, are the patients in post-OP going to be okay? Don't worry, I've never lost a patient. I never lose anything. Have you seen my stethoscope? That's, you know, that, that's kind of the humor that you get from M.A.S.H. Oh, a hint, okay. How can I cross the minefield? Have you looked around your office yet? Maybe you'll find a way to cross the minefield. Okay, bye Hawkeye. Toodaloo, 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 not toodaloo. <laughs> Party pooper. I don't think so. It's the nurse's time slot. In this? Or oh, is the latrine? I don't think I'm allowed in there. It's the officer's latrine. 
Lucky. Oh, because I'm not an officer, that's why I can't go inside. It's a pile of sandbags. They're here for fortification. Path. Okay. So we came through here, let's go here. Oh, we're back at the swamp, cool. Death Valley, 6,116 miles. Burbank, 5,610 miles. Seoul, 34 miles or 54 kilometers. Okay, let's go here, because we need to go to the office, right? Is the path... No, come on, okay, just go in there. A jeep, ambulance... Oh, the flagpole. Um, let's go there. Let's check that... Wait, what is it like? Use, I guess? There we go. <laughs> it's Major Burns' underwear and shirt. I think I'll just take the shirt. Well, I mean, the, it's, it's clean though. The underwear is clean. You could take that too. I like how he put it back. Alright. Frank's shirt. Let's look at it. Hey, it's Major Burns' brass. I don't want his brass, but I'll take it. I'll toss the shirt. Without the insignia, it's just any old shirt. Major Burns' is oak leaves. They're brass, but coated to look gold. Alright. An empty barrel. It was probably full of gasoline at some point. We use it for our jeeps and stuff. An empty crate. We keep them around for miscellaneous use. One of our ambulance trucks. Nice. A bulletin board, messages and notices for the whole camp. Nothing of importance. Alright, so this is the office, right? Oh yeah, cool. Bed. Let's check the bed. My bed. It's not really comfortable, but at least it's in here and not in a drafty, uh, drafty tent. My stove. It's empty at the moment. Nice. The PA and radio microphone, that's where you talk into it. This is the PA and radio system. We make our calls and announcements with this. Sometimes me and Sparky play battleships. I think Sparky was like another corporal from a different MASH unit. Okay, this is BG. Okay, let's look. Wait. Before we talk to BG, let's look around here. A bulletin board full of messages. And a box. Uh, it's an old wooden box. I must have gotten some pa I must have gotten some papers in it. I keep this around just in case. Okay, can you pick it up? Okay, we got the container. Small wooden box. We picked up a lot of stuff. Alright, let's look around. Boxes full of assorted supplies. Assorted supplies. We keep all kinds of maps in this drawer, maps of the camp and such. Hmm, maps of the minefield probably? This is the personal draft uh, drawer, T to Z. Personal drawer, J to S. Personal drawer, A to I. Okay, let's look around. Hey, what's this doing in here? It's a playing card. It was filled under G, probably for gambling. <laughs> okay. Okay, nice. We got another card. Okay. I had the card of the deck, but it's still incomplete. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. It's a huge cupboard full of medical supplies. It's locked. It's uh, it's the Colonel's saddle. He uses it when he's riding on Sophie. We keep all kinds of maps in this drawer, maps of the camp and so oh no that's not, that was wrong, I was checking the picture, lighter. It's a lighter. Okay, pick it up. May I take this sir? Gee, I don't know radar, it was a gift. Anyway, it's empty, it doesn't work. Can I get it filled up for you sir? Mm, that would be mighty thoughtful of you radar, thank you. A practical foldable desk. The colonel uses it when the paperwork gets out of hand. Liquor. Of course he has liquor. <laughs> the liquor cabinet. There's still some brandy from Col Colonel Blake left in there. Colonel Blake was the commanding officer before 
Potter came in. Pictures of uh, Colonel Potter's horses. Okay, so how do I... Wait. But no, because he said it was locked, right? The Okay, so the Colonel has the key. Okay, great. Okay. Hello, sir. Hi, Radar. What are you up to, sir? Well, I'm trying to write Mildred a letter, but I'm so bad at typing I almost used up the entire ribbon. So why not just uh, plain old... Uh, why not just plain old write her to her? I just thought it would be nice to do it this way. Hey, sir, may I have the key to the cabinet drawer? What for? I keep it here for a reason. I need the map to the minefield. You're not planning on going into the minefield, are you, Radar? I may be. Are you nuts? Someone is trapped in the field who is very important to me. Oh dear, who is it? My, um, teddy bear. Are you nuts? Uh, well, gee sir, you know he means a lot to me. Well, let's put it this way, Radar. You go find me some typewriter ribbon, and if you still want to go into the minefield by then, I won't stop you. Thank you, sir. Uh, so, have you seen Hawkeye? Sorry, Radar, not in surgery. Okay. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, Radar. Okay, fair enough. So we need to find a, a, a ribbon for him. He's gonna give us the key. Let's see. It's gonna pull this lighter. It doesn't work, though. Okay. We'll check it on later. What's this? Lube. L tube. Oh, no, it's, it's tube. Tube off? Wait, wait. It's some kind of tube or something. It's just a desk. Eh, that's a patient. He's asleep. Boy, they really got clobbered. He got shot in the leg. They barely saved it. Our doctors really are top notch. Seeing them work makes me proud every time I throw up. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, BJ Honeycutt. Captain. Hi, Captain Honeycutt. Hi, Radar. What are you up to? Just checking on some patients, Radar. But you just got out of surgery. Well, the war never sleeps. So, about that tube on the desk? It's lubricant, Radar. Uh, the turn your head and cough kind. Oh. Oh, eek! Do you have anything to, uh, to ask about it? Well, I was wondering if I can have it, but now I'm having second thoughts. Tell you what, I'll give it to you if you can give me a fresh pair of socks. Oh, I've got the socks. Great, go ahead and take the tube. Thanks! Okay, that's pretty cool. And we got some lube. Are the patients going to be okay? Well, Sergeant Dinosaur Anderson is a pretty bad in a pretty bad shape, but he'll pull through. What's wrong with him? Well, we pulled a bunch of lead out of his leg. We just barely saved it. Gee, you doctors are terrific. So, uh, do you know any good jokes? The cookie went to the hospital because it was feeling crummy. <laughs> okay. Hey, Captain Honeycutt, any clue where I could get a typewriter ribbon? Sorry, Radar, I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, goodbye, Captain Honeycutt. Bye, Radar. It's a patient. He's asleep. Boy, they really got clobbered. That one has a broken arm and a busted head. He looks kind of young, but I guess he'll grow out of it. Yeah, he'll grow out of it eventually. He's just here on the front lines fighting when he was like 19 or 17. Alright. It's a jeep. Our motor pool is right behind it, so it's probably gassed up and ready to go. Gas gap. It's closed. Hmm. Open? Oh, maybe I can fill up the lighter, right? Use. No? Wait, uh... Look at. It's called Pato's lighter. It doesn't work though. Hmm. So how would I... Pull, maybe? No. Use. No. Open. Come on. There we go. There, it's open. Open lighter. Okay, now can I use it on this? Because it, you know, there's just 
you know, gas in there or should be gas. Uh, okay, open again. No, pull to pull the. Okay, I took it apart. Lighter guts and lighter case. Okay, use the guts. Good idea, but I can't just chuck it in there. How would I get it out? I can fish it out. Wait. Use the guts with the string. Ah, there. Now I need to find some fuel to dip it into. I got that. Hmm, I could dip the light into the fuel tank just enough to fill it up. Nice. Okay, use this with the lighter case. There, the lighter is all filled up and ready to use. Nice. Full of fuel and working. Okay, so when uh, we need to burn something. Okay, we got that. Lubricant for, well, icky stuff. Okay, so I, I'm guessing this is for the, um, for whatever mole we're gonna make. Because uh, else we wouldn't have, you know, read stuff about the mole. Okay, so what do I need? I need more cards. Okay, let's look around the camp some more. Actually, no, maybe I can talk, because I need a ribbon, right? Hi. Hi, state your business in one word or less. Hey, do you know where I could find any typewriter ribbon? Hmm, is it anything like a beauty passion ribbon? Um, no. Then sorry, I don't. Alright, bye. Uh, wait. Wait, yeah, let's go to the mess hall too. Because that's, uh, we haven't been there. Hey, it's Corporal, Corporal, Corporal Klinger. And he's dressed like that because he's trying to be deemed insane and be discharged. It's drinking water. Ceramic cups. Can I get one? Oh, we got one. Okay, let's get some water. Let's fill this up. Gee, it's shattered. I need a stronger cup. These ceramic cups are just too flimsy. Okay, so we definitely need to get some water. No, of course Klinger has something. It's a metal cup. Klinger must be using it. Hi, Klinger. Hi, Radar. Nice hat. Thank you. It's from the new summer collection. That dress is a nice little number too. Hey, watch it. I'm nuts, but I'm not gonna tolerate people being fresh. Uh, sorry, Glinger. I just want to be friendly. No worries. Just watch it next time. Because he's not actually a woman, you know. He doesn't actually think he's a woman. He's just pretending to be. So what are you up to? Well, it's not eating, that's for sure. Then what are you doing here? After an OR session like that, I need something strong. I came for some coffee. But the coffee's terrible here. Yeah, but at least it tastes like something unlike the food. Uh, so, did you see any typewriter ribbons around? Not since I ate the last one. Wait, you ate the typewriter ribbons? Yeah, they go great with ink sauce. Why? What do you mean why? I'm clinging, I'm trying to get to section 8. As you can see, it didn't work. Criminy, I need a ribbon for the colonel. Sorry buddy, I can't help you there. And just a tip, maybe start rationing the ink. At least that sauce has a taste. I was done food around here. Jesus. Hey, can I have your cup? No. But it's empty. Maybe so, but it's still mine. I know, I traded them all to the uh, 8063rd for some penicillin. Would you at least trade for it? Sure, I had a new sewing kit. All my needles are bent and none of that surgical stuff. I need a proper sewing kit. Oh, okay, I'll try to find something. And I know where to get that. That's in the from the nurses. Tent. Uh, all right, bye, Klinger. Yellow day, huh? It's goodbye, in Lebanese. Oh. Oh wait, ooh, see? I was going to miss this. A card. We got another card. Please tell me this is the last card. <laughs> He's going all the way around. <laughs> all right, this is Queen of the Hearts. There, I had the cards of the deck. 
And it's still incomplete. Okay, whatever. Okay, so... Okay, at least we know. Let's, uh... Actually, maybe... Burns knows where to get the ribbon. Hello, Major. Make it snappy. I'm busy, soldier. So, have you seen any uh, typewriter ribbon around? I wasn't in Major Hula Handstand. That is... Uh, no, I haven't. Now scram. Hmm. Why would Hot Lips have ribbon in her tent? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's go to supply. Oh, this is where Hot Lips is. Box is full of supplies. Looks like the Major took charge and uh, tied up. You bit your hide, I did, and it better remain in tip-top shape. Yes, sir. That's ma'am. Yes, sir, uh, ma'am. Uh, forget it. Shall D tell me this is a card? Doesn't that look like something? Boxes full of supplies. Same thing, no. This is a card. Here we go. Fourth card. This is the King of Diamonds. Come on. He did. Uh, there, I did to the deck. Oh, it's still incomplete. Come on, man. I'm guessing it's the m m Major's wallet. She must have put her stuff on the table while working. Okay. I'd rather not. It's a table. It's a nice table, but Crimin is just a table. Wait, no, 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 no. But it doesn't look like there's something here. Shelf D. Okay, pick up the key then. I hope she won't notice. Hold it, soldier. I think you took something that belongs to me. This time I'll pretend it was a mistake. Put it back. Oh, yes, ma'am. An honest mistake. Hmm. I won't be able to leave with the key. I need to find a way to leave with the key without actually leaving with the key. And that's when the 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 plaster comes in. We need to make a mold of the key. All right, let's talk to Hot Lips. Hello, Major. How about the salute, soldier? Oh, you don't need to salute me, Major. I'm just a corporal. Ah, <sighs> she meant the other way around, but yeah. Uh, what are you up to? Not that it's any of your business, but I just organized our storage a bit. Gee, that's swell. Now maybe we'll be able to find something when we're looking for it. Uh, that was the idea. Okay. Oh, uh, do you know where I could find any extra typewriter ribbon? I have some, but you can't have it. Why not? It's for the colonel. I don't care. He should have rationed more. Son of a... Hey, have you seen... Major Burns around? What makes you think we're supposed to meet here? I never said... Because we're not. Now leave me alone. Yes, sir. Why are they... So they're supposed to meet, that's the thing, because they're, they're both uh, screwy about it. Alright, let's see about... Yeah, plaster mix, this one. Can I get some plaster mix? What do you need it for? Uh, Major Burns needs it, Hawkeye needs it, it's for a patient. Yeah, let's say a patient. It's for a patient. What patient? Um, a patient in post-OP with multiple fractures. You mean the one in bed one? Yes, ma'am. That patient already has a cast. Then someone has beat me to it. Hmm. Hello, Major. Let's try this again. Could I get some plaster mix? What do you need it for? Hawkeye needs it, probably not. Maybe Major Burns, let's see. Major Burns needs it. Oh, and he sent you? Yes. Lying to a superior officer is a court martial offense, soldier. Ma'am, I would never. Major Burns is a responsible surgeon. He would have come to me personally. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see that. Let's say a patient needs it. I really, I really shouldn't say. Let's say that. I really shouldn't say who needs it. If I'm to give you anything from the supply, I need to know why. 
Well, it's not really for a patient patient. What are you talking about? It's for Father Mokei. Is something wrong with the father? Well, he was sparring with one of the MPs, you know, boxing. And the MP injured him. No, the father knocked him out. It's rather embarrassing for the father, but he broke his knuckles. He would like to keep it hush-hush, you know. It's really not uh, It's really not becoming of a father. Oh, of course, that's understandable. Here you go, soldier. Nice. We got the plaster mix. Black, a batch of plaster mix. Bla plaster mix. So normally we use it to make cast for patients. Okay, wait. Let's, uh, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's, let's check on the... Where was it? Let's read about what we need. Just so I remember the... Knock first, come in, okay. Okay, let's read. Alright, so in the container, I have it. Then I mix the plaster with some water. Then you need some kind of lubricant or silicon to coat the item you want to mold off. So the key needs to be wrapped in that. Place the item into the plaster mix and let it harden. Okay. Alright, so I need to use the plaster on the container. I still missing water. Okay, so I can't. Never mind. Never mind. So I still need a key. It's a bush, nothing special about it. I still need at least a card, I would guess. Uh, let me see if I missed anything back here. Because if I can get the, a, the card, the last card, I'm assuming there's just one more card. I hope there's only one more card that I need. Oh, come on, it was right here. Look at it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Please tell me this is the last one. Because this would be like the fifth card that I found. Two of clubs. Okay, use... There, I added the card to the deck. Now the deck is complete! Yes! Okay, so all five cards. Okay, got them. Now, we can... Okay, wait, so... What do I need? I need... I need water. And for the water, I need... I need a cup. From Klinger. Okay, Okay. so let's get the sewing kit, actually, yeah, let's get the sewing kit first. Because that, that's relatively easy. Then from Klinger, yeah, uh, wait, 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 give, give this to the girls. Would you like this deck of cards? Radar, that's perfect! What can, you, what can we give you in return? Well, that sewing kit on the table looks nice. Radar, it's yours. Sweet. A standard army issue sewing kit, full of thread, needles, some buttons and small scissors. Can I open it? No. Okay, whatever, it's fine. To the mess hall. Oh, wait, 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 maybe I need to use... Wait, the sewing kit on the on the glove. I don't know how to sew. Uh, who do I know that does? Well, Klinger, I guess. Okay. All right, Klinger. He is the sewing kit. Klinger, I took a look at this sewing kit and for the view. Holy Toledo! That's just what I need. Yeah, well, the cup is what I need. You'll think you're extorting me. Well, sorry, but... Eh, don't apologize. It reminds me of home. Take the cup. Thanks, Klinger. Alright, so now we have... We can get water with this, so the metal cup. Now, let's uh, give this. Say, could you sew up this broken glove for me? Planning on a brawl at Rosie's? No, it's for Father Mokei. It's the Father Mokei. Father Mokei is the glove. Then I'd better patch it up. Don't want to mess with the upper hand. There you go. Nice fixed glove. Now let's use this. So if we got... Okay, so we got the water, we got... 
Everything we need for the for the key, to get the key. Okay. Now let's use use plaster with. Why would I do that? Wait. Use this on the container. There, I have everything to make a plaster mix. Nice. Use plaster mix with water. No. Okay. Let's go get uh, get a mold of that key. And first, I'm gonna put lube on it. Use lubricant on the little key. That won't do any good. Wait, what do you mean? No, it's lubricant. Oh, maybe I need to wait. I hope she won't notice. Okay, now let's try to do that. There we go. I coat the key with lubricant. Now, let's make the mold. I have to be sneaky now. Now I have a cast of the key. Sweet. Uh, let's put this one back. It's the mold I made of the Major's key. So I need... Could I use the brass for that? I should probably melt the brass down first. Okay. So, I sh yeah. Let's... Uh... No, let's give Father his glove first. I don't want to... Oh, sorry. Give, not, not use. Father, I fixed your glove. Bless you, my son. I'll try this puppy out right away. Can you hold my file for me, please? Uh, sure. Hmm, nail file. Okay, thank you. Thank you, father. Oh, uh, radar? You wouldn't be trying to hightail uh, it out, out of here with my nail file, would you? Oh, no. It must have slipped my mind. So I can't take the... Okay. Okay. That's fine. Alright. Now, we need... Wait, where should I... No, let's go back. Because I need I need to uh, melt the brass and, and pour it in the mold, right? To make the key. And where can we do that? Well, we just need a fire. Well, a stove. And the one in the offices didn't, didn't have any wood, but this one has. So... Let's see. I use the lighter. Why should I light the stove? Well, okay, wait. Use this. That wouldn't do any good. Why not? Wait, why not? Hmm. I can't light the stove. Why? Uh, wait, maybe I need the cup on this? Sure, this stove is ready to be lit. Okay. So, so why, why can't I light it? Why should I light the stove? So I can ma melt the brass, dude. Right. Whatever I'm trying to do, this probably won't be enough brass. Maybe if I find another insignia somewhere. Okay. We do have a clan that we haven't used. I have a letter. Okay, okay. So. Let's go here. Let's see if... If Major Houlihan will like what uh, Major Frank Burns said about her being a him in the letter. Alright, okay, give. Or sh I should read it to her. Mail call. Oops, sorry. This is outgoing mail from Major Burns. Let me see that. Mail is sacred, ma'am. Oh, shut up and give me that. That thing. I'm an old war horse, am I? I'll show him. He can keep his cheap necklace too. Oh, I'll take that. It's a necklace. The Major threw it on the floor. Pick it up, dude. Mind if I take this? 
Take it and throw it in the minefield for all I care. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. A cheap necklace. Major Burns probably got it from a local peddler. Well, Hawkeye wanted, right? A little something something for uh, for a nurse. Uh, yeah. So the showers. I like how he's, he's so creepy, he's just standing here next to the showers, waiting for nurses to come out. That's, that is weird. Hey, do you want this necklace? Oh, this is perfect for my future lady friend. Thank you, Radar. I hereby promote you to Captain. Hey, wait a minute, those are your Captain's Brass. Bars. Captain's Bars. Oh, that's okay. The Captain always has to go down with his, with his ship. And I don't have a ship. It must have sunk, so I don't need his. Well, still brass, I guess. So let's use this. With this? No. Use this. With this? Now I have enough brass. I put Hawkeyes and the Majors and Seniors in the cup. Okay. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to light the stove. Um, get the brass all nice and melty. And then get the, get a key. Well, I'm all the key. Alright. Sure, this stove is ready to be lit. Finally, okay. Uh, use. There, the stove is lit. A cup full of melted brass. Wait, then I can't pick it up, right? I'll burn my. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so that's why I needed the, the clamp. Uh, I can use the clamp to get the hot cup. There, now I can pick it up and use the metal brass on the mold. There, now I have a rough copy of the Major's Key. A rough copy of the Major's Key, I doubt it will work as is. Because, uh, okay, I know. That's why we were able to get Father Mokei his uh, uh, file. Because you would file down the, the key. To make it uh, all nice and uh, relatively straight, because it, it probably has some, you know, jagged edges and everything. Uh, okay, let's see. Hello, father. Hello, radar. Hey, could you lend me that file? I would, but I need it myself. But I need to. Hey, maybe you should try that glove out, uh, glove on again. Hmm, maybe, maybe you're right. Better be sure. Here, hold my file, please. Thank you. There we go. There, I filed the key down a bit. Now it should work. Look at that. Perfect key copy. Okay, father, thank you. I have to go, father. Here's your file back. Oh, of course, radar. Thank you. So now we can get... We can finally get the... Um, showers. Yeah. We can finally get the ribbon. Although that's kind of weird. Why would Hulahan have the ribbon in her tent and not uh, not in the supply tent? Anyway, let's use this. There, it's unlocked. Now I can open the door. Here goes nothing. I better hurry. I don't want the major to catch me. Typewriter. Makeup, what's this? Clock rig. Let's see what she has. An assortment of lady books. Nothing I would read. Probably for jewelry. That's uh, where she probably kept her ring. Uh, it's a typewriter, standard military issue. The same type the colonel uses. Okay, can I open this? I can't open that. Okay. Photos of the major with her family and her. Family, friends, probably some important personal things. Maybe the ribbon is somewhere in here. Okay, open. There it is. Better get it, uh, get out quickly. Sweet, a typewriter ribbon. I should get this to the colonel. All right, so let's go. I'll right, take this this path. Okay, quickly! Past burns. 
Wait. Oh yeah, yeah. I should have taken those two showers. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. We got it. We got it. Yeah, Colonel. We got it. Okay. Here we should write the letter to his wife by hand. But anyway. I got the ribbon, sir. Splendid, Radar. Are you still sure you want that key? Yes, sir. Alright, I'm reluctant, but a promise is a promise. Just be careful, I need my clerk in one piece. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. No, thank you, Radar. Yes. There, now it's unlocked. I'll just have a quick look. Here it is, the map I need. Thank you, sir. I took what I needed. Thank you, Radar, and please be careful. I need my company clerk in one piece. Yes, sir. Uh, it, that's a little bug, because he was... Anyway, it's fine. I, like, the colonel was supposed to be talking, but the text was, like, white as if... Uh, as if Radar was. Ah, it's fine. You know, bugs will happen. Bugs will happen. Let's go to... Supply, yeah, because it was, it was past Father Mulcahy. Yeah, here we are. Now, let's use this on the minefield. Okay, now that I've got the map, I can get in and out alive. I hope. Don't die on me, Radar. Or else this would be really bad. Nice. I'm alive! And so is my teddy bear. I can't believe I just did all that. You, my friend, are grounded. Uh oh! Choppers! <laughs> he didn't have time to sleep, poor guy. Choppers! And that was it, everyone! That was MASH the Adventure Game. The, um, the full of it. And, uh, you can see here. I mean, by Vicky C Studio? No money was earned from this project, which is a little sad because it's uh, it's it's a really cool project. It works really well, and um, you know if you're even if you're not a fan of Mash, if you're a fan of Mash, it's it, you know it makes everything a lot better. But even if, if you know if you're not a fan of Mash, you can find out you know more about the series through this game, and you can or you can just enjoy another uh, cool point and click adventure game. That was the one. That was uh, Mash. If you want to you know show it to someone then just see the link in the description below to the game's official page. You can also contribute to the project if you'd like. You can get uh, you know, access to the assets used and you know, maybe use them to you know, make your own episode or, you know, I don't know, maybe do a mash to the adventure game. Uh, who knows, but it would be really cool if more people would um, pick up on this and we'd have more adventures in... Uh, in the MASH universe. But yeah, that was it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me just... Sorry. Let me just lower the volume because it's it's really it's, it's really loud in the menu. And it, it really shouldn't be, but that's that's okay. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, that was it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up real quick. If you like what I do here, consider subscribing. That would be immensely helpful if you could. Subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com slash hybrid and bitchute, bitchute.com slash hybrid if you want to see the cool games that I cover. And um, after that, please take just half a minute to see the ways through which you can support me financially so I can continue doing, you know, gaming coverage and more for a very long time. You can either give me a direct donation through PayPal or you can support me with the purchases that you make on the Epic Games Store, the Humble Store, Fanatical. Just use uh, the stuff in the description. You can also donate cryptocurrency to the PayString link in the description below. You can buy me a coffee via the buymeacoffee.com link. You can donate basic attention tokens, bats, if you use the Brave browser, just, you know, whenever you br browse with Brave, uh, check out any video of mine on YouTube or any post that I make on Twitter, at Cryptic Hybrid, follow me there, of course, and you'll be able to tip me bats that you have accumulated. Thanks again for watching, this has been MASH, the adventure game, remember, suicide is painless, and have an awesome day.